Right, just going to show you a little video. Something's a little bit strange. So, I was always on the understanding dry rot wouldn't go across water. I don't know if anybody's actually seen it, but nobody I know has actually told me they've seen it go across dry rot. I know quite a lot of people involved in this sort of um, problem. Now, I've seen a few subfloors where I was adamant dry rot was growing because you can see a lot of black there when the floor has been all soaking wet. So, typically, I find when a dry rot fruit and body gets very, very wet. This is the fruit and body here. What happens is it just goes like black mush, and then if you let it dry out, it just grows rapidly. So this here is just I've just broken this off here, but you can actually see all this mycelium here is actually growing in water. And this is the fruit and body. I'll just peel it, peel this back a minute. Very smelly like a mushroom, but you can see it's quite fleshy and. It's perfectly grown across water, perfectly happy. And you can see where it's actually disintegrated all this wood. This is just very light now. You can literally squeeze it, squeeze your hands through it. But I just thought I'd show you that because it's an interesting one. And if you're a surveyor and you're coming up to these properties that have been flooded, could happen possibly. So it's just one to look out for. So again, if you see the black stuff like that, when it's got absolutely soaking wet, so I actually, I've actually soaked this. I put the dry rot in there, soaked it to like sort of like stop it growing as such, and then dried it back a little bit and allowed it to germinate. And you know, this is what's happening. I'll just zoom in a little bit on here, so you can see it a bit better. Put the light on there. But um, yeah, there we go. Little fruit and body. Thanks for watching.